Everybody and welcome. We are at the home of the Miller Rustlers tonight where the Lady Chieftains take on the Lady Rustlers. I want to welcome all of our visitors to Miller, South Dakota, where we invite you to kick back, get ready for tonight's action between the Lady Chieftains, the undefeated Lady Chieftains, and the Miller Lady Rustlers. So, looking forward to some excellent basketball play here tonight. And a competitive game tonight. Uh, Miller Lady Rustlers coming in with a little bit of height. And uh, I believe it'll be a competitive game tonight. But, of course, I also believe our Lady Chieftains will defeat their 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 uh, opponent here tonight so we welcome you to uh, tonight's game all of our uh, listeners we invite you to get a hold of your relatives or whoever else might have access to a computer and and uh, send a shout out to everybody back in Fort Thompson up at the school although I see all of our dorm students here tonight as well so welcome one and all if you're uh, if you're watching from a place beyond Fort Thompson we welcome you and it should be like I said a good a good evening of basketball here Boys, just uh, making a few adjustments here yet as we prepare for tonight's game. Kind of sitting up in the bleachers a little bit. Got a little bit of bird's eye view tonight. And so, uh, get the camera all straightened out here. And as you can see, down below here, see that man in the red? That's just. St. John and the uh, first time in our history between these two towns we have our own voice of the chieftains he's going to be the voice for tonight's game as well and they've invited him to uh, announce tonight's game on the public address system and so we're grateful for that opportunity and Jesse taking it to the next level he's uh, announcing here in Miller They've invited him to uh, do that, so we're proud of him, and and uh, it should be it should be a fun night as well. As Jesse always, he's always about making it a fun evening of basketball when he announces. So, but uh, thank you to the Miller uh, High School for allowing that to happen. You know, whoever whoever made that possible, we're grateful for extending that uh, neighborly gesture out to our. Lady Chieftains and our Chieftains tonight, they'll have uh, a voice that they're familiar with. So, getting ready for tonight's game. We've got about 15 minutes before the start of our game tonight. And we welcome you to get a hold of any other listeners, any other people that might want to view tonight's game. Let them know that GoChieftains.Live is up and at them. And uh, we'll be anticipating some excellent basketball play here tonight. The Lady Rustlers in green and white. And the Lady Chieftains, of course, in red, black, and white. So, Kaylee Wells back in the lineup. I know she was out uh, resting up uh, last week uh, when we played Mobridge. And so she'll be doing some battle tonight against a few uh, taller girls I see over on the Lady Rustler side of the court, but uh, yeah, all the same, I think we're gonna. She she's probably a little quicker, probably a little, but it should be a it should be an excellent uh, competitive game tonight. So we thank you all for taking the time to join us, and uh, I think it's gonna be an awesome game tonight. Got a number of fans in the audience uh, on the other side of the court there. We see a number of Miller fans and a 
Of course, uh, here on our end of the court, we uh, have all of our loyal Chieftain fans in the house, along with uh, the, the along with the dormitory students, and so this has always been an excellent rivalry, even back in the '80s when uh, when I got to appreciate ball games played here, and uh, so. We are once again looking forward to extending that that rivalry between the two uh, teams, and just looking forward to some excellent play. Uh, the uh, the varsity girls on, on their side of the court. Uh, we have uh, a number of, uh, like I said, taller players, uh, some some six footers, and uh, uh, some of their taller players. El Elise Brooks, she's their center at uh, number 50. We'll be keeping an eye on her, uh, along with uh, Katie uh, Fernholz, number 30. She's a six footer. Uh, so they they have a couple of players that are that are six feet tall. Um, and uh, th that would be the uh, varsity girls. The uh, of course on on our side of the the court, uh, Kaylee Kaylee uh, is our tallest player. But um, so it should be it should be some excellent uh, excellent basketball play tonight. Uh, if you're at home, you know get the popcorn going, and uh, got about 11 minutes till the start of this one. And uh, we look forward to bringing it to you live and un uninterrupted at GoChieftains.Live. I want to take a moment to uh, thank our, uh, our sponsors, Will Rock Motors. Lynn's Dakota Mart and Lodestar Casino. We appreciate your support of uh, high school athletics uh, and Chieftains basketball. Will Rock Motors, Lynn's Dakota Mart and Lodestar Casino bringing you this year's basketball action live at gochieftains.live. So, as we get warmed up for tonight's game and uh, pan, uh, the fans start to uh, roll in, you can uh, get, a, get a sense that uh, there's uh, some excitement in the air and uh, an excellent night for uh, basketball. It's cold outside, but it's uh, warm in here, folks. It's going to be a good one. And... Uh, at center court, our, uh, our uh, team captains all lined up. Uh, and we see a, a little bit of a meeting taking place at center court. I see John John Estes is one of the referees tonight. And I think that's... Uh, uh, of importance as well that uh, we have you know our, our our native refs you know they uh they train just as hard they uh it's the same certification and everything else i i think it's uh, important that that we exercise uh some diversity when it comes to refereeing basketball games and uh it does it just uh makes for a well-rounded uh, ball game whenever you know, our students uh, see referees uh, of the same color, I'll just say. And uh, it, uh, it, it's, a, it's a good feeling too. Um, and, and to think that, you know, they serve as role models as well for our youth that uh, might want to be referees one day. So it's good to see our, our native referees involved in, in our basketball games. And, and uh, I want to give a shout out to our cheerleaders who have been doing an awesome job this year. 
Chieftain cheerleaders. Their uh, coach is Tanya Goings. She's done a great job with them. Just about eight minutes now remaining. And uh, the lady wrestlers have made their way to the locker room. And as our uh, lady chieftains continue to warm up for tonight's game. Until I get uh, uh, one of our students up here, I'm going to be uh, kind of uh, doing a solo broadcast here. Um, so forgive me if I uh, if I don't change the score right away, or if I uh, you know mess up on someone's name or something like that. It's kind of it's a little tougher uh, go of it whenever you're doing uh, camera work and and also uh, keeping score and announcing. So. Um, but uh, as soon as uh, Cortez uh, Swift, uh, as soon as he uh, gets changed, he played on the JV. So as soon as he gets uh, situated, he'll be up here. He's he's pretty good at running the camera because our main man uh, Jesse is down down below. He's doing the uh, public address and so. I'll apologize on the front end, <laughs> but uh, all the same, we're glad that you are able to make us part of your evening. Just under six minutes now remaining before we have tip off here of this one between the lady rustlers and your lady chieftains. So. If it if it appears as though if it appears as though uh, there there might be an earthquake uh, taking place, uh, it, it is a little bit of a I don't know if it's uh, the older bleachers that we have here, but anytime someone walks by the camera, it, it, you can yeah you can uh, it, it shakes you know so <laughs> it's a little different in different places, uh, but uh, here I I'm already seeing where. Or if people walk by, then it it, uh, it shakes pretty good. <laughs> Five minutes till game time. Five minutes. As uh, Lady Chieftains loosen up, warm up, get ready for tonight's ball game. Like I said, it's uh, we're anticipating some. Excellent basketball play here tonight. And uh, Band doing a pretty good job of entertaining. That's really something that uh, I've always been impressed with. You know, high schools that have have a band. And uh, certainly would be something to offer. I know uh, back in our day, you know, we had a 
a small band uh, uh, offering when, when I was a student at Crow Creek. And it would be good. It would be good to have a band, once again, to offer that to our students. So petition your, your local uh, school board member and let's get, let's get band going. That would be awesome. Of course, those guys that graduated before me, you know, they they comprise uh, Country Skins and all of those, uh, you know, different groups that you see out there today. <laughs> but we we had some good uh, musicians. I know Perry uh, Perry Weddle, Perry Little. He uh, played guitar along with Billy Joe McBride and and uh, the three the two of them and Roxanne. Yeah, I know they had a. Uh, a gig they used to do. They went to Highmore and won the talent competition <laughs> back in the day. So, yeah, we we did. We had uh, we had band at Crow Creek, and it would be cool. It would be cool to offer that again. So now we have uh, talented students there at at our school, and just under two minutes until game time. Two minutes till tip off, and. Uh, we are looking forward to uh, some excellent basketball play here tonight. And once again, I'm kind of uh, seated up in the uh, the bleachers a little bit further up. So on occasion when these fans in front of me stand up, then, you know, we're going to, I might have to ask them to just, uh, you know, to, to, to be cool, you know, to... Uh, no, I can't tell them not to stand and holler and stuff like that. Sometimes it's uncontrollable, but uh, all the same, it'd be great to uh, bring tonight's game to you uninterrupted and uh, unimpeded by fans. One minute till game time. One minute. Maybe if I move the camera even further over... Uh, We'll be able to uh, try to bring it over as far as I can to be able to see around. Getting ready for, getting ready for tonight's game, and. Uh, before we get started, ladies and gentlemen, we turn the mic over here to Al with the. Uh, and Lady Chieftains getting ready. Junior wrestler. Tonight, girl junior wrestler is Morgan Cola. Yeah, so we're going to be All right, with that, uh, good evening, ladies starting up here with uh, tonight's starting lineups. Of course, the Lady Chieftains will be starting with Sarah Hunter, Rosie Droppel, Marvine Ross, uh, Kaylee Wells, and... Uh, Introducing our cheerleaders. Mr. McBride, right, right in our way. Look at Mr. McBride. He even has his name on his shirt. <laughs> Introducing their uh, cheerleaders for the lady wrestlers. Yeah, so once again, uh, we're ready for tonight's starting lineup. Number two, Number two uh, Sarah Hunter. A junior guard, she plays guard and forward. Rosie, of course, is uh, 
our speedster, Marvin. Haley Londo. And Kaylee's back in the lineup, so we are ready for tonight's basketball action. And now the starting lineups for the Miller Rustlers. Lady Rustlers. Monker, Aaron Monker, number 10. Vanna Gail Schlechter. Abby Kettlehut, number 22. Number 30, Katie Fernholz, number 30. And Annie Keeter is 5'11 forward. Yeah, their head coach, Aaron Zeller, assisted by Joe Brook. And Kim Blackwell, the Lady Chieftains coach. Of course, uh, Jim Fellis, assisted by Autumn Fellis and Siobhan Stepp. As we go to the Lakota flag song. Once again, uh, Jesse St. John offering the Lakota flag song. Uh, Spangled Banner offered by the Miller High School Band. So we are ready. <laughs> uh, just suggesting that Nate Hislaw might offer the Mexican flag song, but I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> We're ready for tip off, everybody. Welcome. Good evening. We are ready. Ready for varsity girls basketball action. Great. 
great blue. Oh, great blue lady. Here we go. We hope you're ready at home. We are ready here, and we have tip-off. Controlled by the Lady Rustlers. Abby Kettlehut. Now work underneath in an early whistle. And John John coming up with that call. He's going to call that first one on Marvine. So... And we're going to have a turnover. Lady Chieftains basketball. Marvin going to bring it up court for the Lady Chieftains. The Chieftains work it around. Haley with a pass inside and... Uh, some generous basketball play on the part of the Lady Chieftains. Everybody touching the ball. And high off the glass, it ain't gonna fall. They get their own rebound. Lady Rustler is working inside for two. That basket by Fernholes. And Marvin's going to go to the line. That foul on Vonnegale Schlechter, her first personal. Marvin on the line. Lady Rustlers lead by a basket. And she puts the second one in. Lady Rustler is going to bring it up court. Short jumper works. Schlechter with that basket. Pass inside to Kaylee, yeah, can't get it to roll. Rebound, Lady Rustlers, and blocking fall gonna be called. Call that one on Haley. Gonna get the score here. Four to one is our score. Lady Rustlers with an early three-point lead. 6.15 remaining in the first period of play. And a traveling call gonna be the call. Lady Chieftains basketball. Excuse me. And Lady Chieftains gonna work it around. The battle for the ball, the jump ball. Lady Chieftains basketball. Our score, four to one. Lady Chieftains still getting warmed up here. Kaylee with a long three off the back of the rim. And here come the Lady Rustlers. Taking it to the hoop. is Katie Fernholz. She's going to shoot a couple. And that foul on Kaylee Wells, her first personal. In and out on the first one. Four to one is our score. Five and a half minutes remaining in the first period of play. Fern Holes 
Second one up and good. Marvin, that's the moves. Over to Kaylee. Kaylee trying to work it into Sarah, but she dishes off to Marvin. Haley, Haley making a move to the basket, kicks it out to Kaylee over to Rosie. Can't get it to work. Sarah with the rebound. Sorry about that, <laughs> getting into the game. And a battle for the ball. And they're going to call a foul. This time on Sarah. Her first personal. Five to one is our score. Four fifty-one remaining in the first period of play. <clears throat> and Lady Wrestlers working it in for the hoop. Rebound. A long pass is going to go out of bounds. Lady Wrestlers basketball. Elise Brooks, a six foot center, checking in for the Lady Wrestlers. Along with uh, 34, Annie Keeter. Here we go. Lady Rustler is with a four point lead. Passed it to herself and then scores. So I guess that's how they do it over here. Rosie off the glass. Kaylee with the rebound and put back. Three to seven. Lady Chieftains with a steal. Sarah Hunter. Pass underneath to Marvine for two. And we got some full court pressure being put on by the Lady Chieftains. Almost another steal. They kick it out. And another steal. Sarah Hunter working over time and Rosie's gonna chase it but runs out of court. Lady Rustlers basketball, three and a half minutes now remaining. Three and a half minutes. Two point lead by the Lady Rustlers. Lady Chieftain's putting on some effective defense here. Plenty of steals, but just, man, if they, if it, if it wasn't uh, being turned over so much, there's another steal. Haley with the steal and uh, comes up shy on the re the layup. Oh boy, Lady Chieftains having a tough time finding the bottom of the basket. And a foul on the play. Rosie gonna pick up her first personal. Fifth team foul now against the Lady Chieftains. Five fouls to one. Short jumper works. For Keeter, I believe is her name. Yep, Annie Keeter. And our score is nine to five. Yeah, score should be nine to five. Ball number 15 for Miller Brooks. That's her first Elise Brooks called for that foul, and Kaylee Wells on the line. First one is up and good. Two twenty-five remaining in the first period of play. And second one is up and off the back of the rim. Another steal on the part of Chieftains, but nice basket for Vonnegale Schlechter. Long. Th 
three for Marlene. Score is 9 11 and 155 remaining in the first period. Lady wrestlers turn it over. It's Lady Chieftain's basketball, and that three would have gave them the lead. Tough defense on the part of the Lady Chieftains, but uh, just uh, having a, a roughie with protecting the ball afterward. Here's a re nice rebound by Sarah. Comes Marvin putting a move on and taking it to the hoop for two. Tying it up for the Lady Chieftains with 120 remaining in the first first quarter of play. And uh, Rosie battling for the ball. I'm sorry I didn't have that on camera, but yeah, Rosie playing some good defensive basketball and it just appears that every time we get a steal, we give it up. And uh, it uh, appears as though we have a bonus situation now for the Lady Rustlers. I think that was on Marvine. And uh, it's gonna be her second, I believe. Yeah, her second, second personal foul. And uh, she was hoping to have her efforts rewarded. Uh, Look like an offensive, but Lady Rustler's on the line shooting a bonus. First one's up and good. Second one is up and off the front of the rim. Rebound Haley. And Marvin gonna stop and launch, but they're gonna call her for traveling. <laughs> Just over a minute remaining in the first period of play. Lady Chieftains with some excellent defensive play. Just uh, just a little shy. There's another steal there. Here comes Haley with under a minute remaining. Haley taking it to the hoop. Rebound, Lady Rustlers. And they're going to push it up court. And nice defensive effort by Kaylee Wells. Marvin going to bring it down with 35 seconds on the clock. Going to pass it around. Nice pass inside for two. Rosie. Twelve to thirteen is our score. Nice pass to Haley for two. And now we're at the fifteen to fifteen to twelve is our score. Look like traveling, but yeah, fifteen to twelve is our score. They're gonna say Haley picked up her second personal. Lady wrestlers will shoot a, a bonus with five seconds on the clock. Rolls and gets it to roll. Get a friendly basket here for the lady wrestlers. Second one up and good. And we got a one point ball game. Five seconds remaining in the first first period of play. Five seconds, see what happens here. Marvin gonna take that three-pointer. It's up, and just shy of the mark. She was uh, shooting from four-point land. Lady Chieftains lead by one after the first period of play. Yeah, we're gonna try a commercial here, see what happens. <laughs>
And we are back at Miller High School where we're watching varsity girls basketball action. And the Lady Chieftains ahead by one after the first half, first quarter of play. We're going to move to the second period. I invite you to I invite you to join us along with 102 uh, viewers. I'm hearing from Jess <laughs> that uh, where we go. Ready to start the second period. Jess giving me a bad time down there. <laughs> the lady wrestlers move the ball around, trying to work it inside. Battle underneath. And Cade Fernholes with that basket. Long three off the front of the rim. Rebound Lady Rustlers. Pass underneath. Off the glass. No good. Rebound and put back. And once again, Katie Fernholes with the basket. And Lady Chieftain's going to turn it over. 18-15 is our score. Lady wrestlers in front as we begin the second period of play. Lady wrestlers move the ball around, stolen by Marvin and a long pass once again goes out of bounds. Second time this game that they've tried that full court pass and it's just gone out of bounds. Seven minutes remaining in the first half of play. And Lady Chieftains with a lot of steals in this game but just ball control following that steal as they work it inside to their and it's going to count. She's going to go to the line and shoot the and one. Nineteen. Oh, I'm sorry. The score is 20. 20 to 15. And the and one is up and good. 21 15. We've got a game, folks. And I don't know if uh, Lady Chieftains have have trailed like this this year. We'll see how it goes here as they move along. And uh, Fernholz is their scorer for the Lady Rustlers. And once again, she's uh, feeling comfy out there. 23-15 is their score. As the Lady Chieftains. Bonagail Schlechter back in the game for the Lady Wrestlers. Under six minutes remaining in the first half. Bounce pass is stolen. And she's struggling to bring it up, but dishes off. Lady wrestlers work it around. She thought about it. Here comes Sarah. She's going to take it to the hoop. Oh, in and out. Once again, fern holes. Spinning off the glass. No good. Fern holes. Rebound. Marvin and the long pass to Haley. Missed the easy one. A steal and basket this time. She says, I got this. Second effort on her part, a defensive effort. And rewarded with two for her efforts. Six point lead for the Lady Rustlers. 
And uh, we've got an excellent basketball game underway. I want to welcome all of our viewers. Lady Chieftains down by six at the moment. 5-12 remaining in the first half of play. And uh, this one's promising to be a a real a real game. You know, some 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 competition. We've got Jesse over here signaling something there. We got a hundred and fourteen. 114 viewers or something. I'm not sure what he's signaling, but we want to welcome each and every one of you. We got to multiply that by at least two because I know everybody out there's got somebody else watching with them, right? So I'm just uh, grateful to um, you know the Miller High School for allowing Jesse to have some fun on the mic tonight. Uh, He's on the public address, and of course, I wish he was up here helping out, <laughs> helping me out too. It'd go a, a bit smoother. But uh, hope you're enjoying the game, and it looks to be quite uh, quite a competitive one at that. A rebound by Kaylee. Haley's gonna bring it up past to Sarah Hunter off the glass, can't fall, and a battle for the ball. And they're going to, I believe, call it a jump ball. Uh, Marvin coming off uh, the court holding her mouth. She must have got elbowed or, yeah, Fancy's going to check in for her. Oh, I guess that wasn't a jump ball. It's going to be a, a foul on the Lady Chieftains, uh, that one on. On Rosie, they're going to call that one on Rosie, her third personal. So Lady Rustlers will shoot a, a double bonus. From here on out, 4.45 remaining in the second period. And uh, they're in a double bonus situation. Lady Rustlers only with two fouls for this game. Two fouls for Lady Rustlers, oh, 10 for Lady Chieftains. Twenty-four seventeen. I just suggested they only had two. There's their third. And uh, that one on Fernholes. Hunter gonna work it over to and we're gonna have a foul away from the the basketball, Laney. Laney was fouled by Annie Keeter, picking up her first team's fourth foul. Long, foul. long shot from the corner, rebound and put back. Sarah Hunter passed to Kaylee Wells for two. 19 to 24. Lady Chieftain's defense is just is just creating havoc for the lady lady rustlers. Number thirty, she's their main player. Oh, a two pointer for Monker. Monker is her name. Aaron Monker. And it's gonna go out of bounds. Score is 26-19. 26-19, Lady Rustlers. Here's their main player. She's a forward guard. <laughs> long, long shot. Sarah Hunter gonna come away with it. She'll bring it up court for the Lady Chieftains. 3.23 remaining in the first half of play. Lady Chieftains work it around. Kaylee Wells, the move to the basket in and out. Rebound by Fernholes and a long pass gonna go. Oh, nice save. Short jumper off the back of the rim. Long shot, won't work. 
The rebound and put back by Katie Fernholtz. And I'll get that score up on the board here. 28-19. Ball goes out of bounds. Lady Chieftains basketball. 238 remaining in the first half. Haley Londo going to inbound for the Lady Chieftains. And she's tried to get it to Kaylee, but it uh, bounces out of bounds. Lady Rustlers basketball, 236 remaining. Lady Rustlers bring it up court with two and a half minutes remaining. 28-19 is the score. <laughs> Lady Chieftains basketball. Haley Londo brings it up court. Dish off to Rosie. Rosie to Sarah. Sarah to Kaylee. Long pass. And can't get it to fall. 123 remaining. Our score is 30 to 19. Let me get that switched. Changed over. 30 to 19 should be our score. 123 remaining. Fancy. Francesca Ross on the line. Second one is up and can't get it to fall. Fernholes controlling the boards. 116 remaining as the Lady Rustlers moving it around. Battle for the rebound. And I believe it's going to be a jump ball. No, they're going to call a foul. That one looks like it's on Fancy. Yep. Uh, her first. The lady wrestlers on the line. Yeah. Marvin checking back in. 31 19. Second one up and good. And the Lady Chieftains trailing with one minute remaining. Marvin gonna take it to the hoop. 21-32 is our score. Lady Chieftains with some defensive effort. Pass underneath for two. Long three, up and good. 24-34, Fancy battling for the ball. She's helped up by her sister Marvin. 22 seconds remaining. Lady Chieftains basketball, they trail by 10. 22 seconds before the, just remaining in the half. And a whistle on the play. Gonna be an offensive foul. They're gonna call that on Laney Crazy Bull. 18 seconds now remaining. Full court pressure being put on by the Lady Chieftains. And a steal. With nine seconds remaining, Marvin brings it up. 
She's going to launch a three. And she's off the mark. And that's the way the first half will end. 34-24. Lady Rustlers in front of Lady Chieftains. So this one's uh, promising to be a, a barn burner, folks. You're not going to want to miss the second half of this one. This is has to be the largest deficit, I believe, for the Lady Chieftains this year. The largest deficit, a 10-point deficit going into the uh, locker room at the half. And so we welcome you to stick around for the second half of this one. That'll be in about nine minutes. So make sure you stay with us or check back with us. We'll be back in about five
All right, we're returning to basketball action. Uh, we've got about a minute 40 before the uh, second half begins. And uh, this one's uh, quite a quite a ball game uh, here. Our score, 24-34. Uh, Lady Chieftains trailing the Lady Rustlers of Miller. And we got a minute or so. But uh, still, no fear, man. I think we're going to, you know, uh, this is going to be a true test for our Lady Chieftains. But, you know, just if they can get their... Uh, Get get their game get their game on as they say. I I have no fear that uh, Lady Chieftains will be uh, making that comeback uh, just as soon as possible and uh, taking care of business here, defending defending their undefeated status. So no worries, as the Australians say. No worries, they're gonna be all right. And because uh, I've. Uh, Seen a lot of little mistakes, you know, every time they uh, were able to, you know, play some good D, get a steal, uh, just protecting it or or just making the, the easy shots, you know. Sometimes it amounts to that. It would be nice to stay out of foul trouble. <laughs> uh, it just always appears as though our girls are in foul trouble. We got uh, Jesse St. John on the mic down there in the red with the stocking cap. And uh, they let him uh, do the public address tonight. First time in the history of these two schools playing each other that a chieftain is on the mic. So it, I said, if we lose, I'm going to blame him. <laughs> so here we go. Second half has begun. And... Uh, like I said, I think they're going to see a true test of the Lady Chieftain's ability to turn it up a notch. And Rosie with a, with a, they're going to call a foul on uh, number 22. That would be Abby Kettlehut. Kettlehut with her first personal. Chieftains basketball. Otherwise, I think Rosie would have had a breakaway dunk on that. <laughs> Marvin going to make a move to the basket. And comes up shy of the mark. Lady Rustlers with the rebound. They'll push it up court. And lefty for two. 36-24. Kaylee gonna make a move to the basket. And uh, they really haven't uh, called any uh, fouls uh, against anyone blocking her for whatever reason. Um, they always seem to be laying all over her and never a foul called. I, I don't understand that, but hey, you know, refs, uh, that's why they call the game. <laughs> Lady Chieftain's going to work it around. And Rosie with that basket. Back to a 10-point lead for the Lady Rustlers. 6.40 remaining in the third period of play. Third period of play. I should put that up there. Third. Lady Rustlers move the ball around. Once again, some excellent D being played by the Lady Chieftains. As short jumper works. Two pointer for Abby Kettlehut. I got the back. Score changed. And a three pointer. 29-38, and Lady Rustlers want to talk it over. Our score is 38-29. And like I said, 
I'm confident that our Lady Chieftains can outplay any team in the state. Yeah, I'll just say that much. Uh, they're certainly going to prove that in the second half of this one. So make sure you stick with us. Uh, hey, call your relatives over, man, because the Lady Chieftains are about to turn it up and uh, prove, you know, now that he here's their test. This is their test, and uh, we're going to see, uh, be able to watch him, watch him just. Marvine taking it to the hoop, shy of the mark. Over Kaylee's back, but no foul, you know. That's what I'm saying, you know. It's. Abby Kettlehut with her second personal. Sarah Hunter to Marvine for a long three. Going to be shy of the mark. Looked like double dribble to me, but <laughs> uh, travel. Got away with the double, but called for the travel. So <laughs> I guess it ball don't lie, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin going to inbound to Sarah. Sarah Hunter. She's capable of hitting that, that long shot, too. Going to kick it over to Rosie. Shia the mark. Lady Rustlers. It gets knocked out of bounds. Marvin kind of knocked uh, the player out of bounds there. I believe that's going to be her third, her third personal against Marvin. First team foul. Sarah with some tough D. Lady Rustler struggle to bring it up court. And Haley Londo with some good hands down there. She knocks it out of bounds. Aaron Monker going to inbound for the Lady Rustlers. Monker. Reaching foul going to be called on Haley. And that's going to be her third personal. Monker once again. Will inbound and Lady Rustlers. Taking their time. Some good defensive pressure being placed on the Lady Chieftain. Partial block. Long pass once again. Third time this game. It's uh, been turned over by that long pass. Um, yeah, certainly would work in football, I guess, but <laughs> not here in basketball. Nice block by Kaylee, but second effort by Fernholz. 40 to 29 is our score. Here comes Fernholz. And she kind of stumbles down court. Kaylee denying someone. It's going to go out of bounds. She, yeah, Sarah Hunter with a smart move, kind of bouncing it off the player as she went out of bounds herself. 4.09 remaining in the third period of play. And uh, we're gonna go to a timeout. Coach Fellas wants to talk it over. 40 to 29. Lady Chieftain still looking to explode in this one. And I think uh, just conditioning alone they're a second half team, and we've always uh, said that about the Lady Chieftains. And we're just uh, waiting for them to take off here at any moment. They just uh, need a little bit of a, a nudge uh, to, to make that happen. So if you're at home, we need a nudge. <laughs> um, 
just protecting the ball and and being able to hit a couple threes maybe I'm not sure but you know as we move toward that fourth period of play you know of course those early fouls always seem to come into play and we're just hopeful that uh, we're far enough ahead when something should something like that occur but right now with 4.05 remaining in the third period, our Lady Chieftains are behind by 11. And so uh, we are anticipating as we move closer to the fourth period that uh, Lady Chieftains start to reel them in as they say. And uh, it's again another bad pass. And uh, Lady Rustler is working around. A short baseline jumper won't work. Sarah Hunter with the rebound. And she kicks it over to Marvin. Over to Kaylee. Off the glass for two. Good for two. Fern holes. Comes up shy. Here's a long pass to Sarah. Hunter, no foul. Steal. She's gonna go for the dunk. No, lefty, no good. And a battle for the ball. Jump ball and uh, it's gonna be Lady Rustler's basketball. Once again, you know. Another easy layup missed. 40 to 39, nine point lead for the Lady Wrestlers. Three minutes, three minutes remaining in the third period. And uh, everybody waiting for the, the Lady Chieftains to make their move. A whistle on the play, I think that's gonna be on Sarah. Miss defense herself. She she's gonna pick up her second second foul. Fancy's gonna come in, give uh, Sarah a rest. The lady wrestlers with a nine point lead. Under three minutes remaining in the third. Work it around. Shot up and in and out. Battle for the rebound. They're gonna say Lady Wrestlers basketball. John John Estes with the call. And Fern holes to inbound. Lady Wrestlers work it around, put it up, and we'll go to the line. Schlechter is gonna shoot a couple. That foul on Fancy. Francesca Ross, her first per, first personal. Fourth team foul for the Lady Chieftains. Once again, we have a 10 point lead for the Lady Rustlers. Second one is up and good. Lady Rustlers got them Free throws down, two and a half now remaining in the third period. Marvin with three. Just what the doctor ordered. A three pointer. Lady wrestlers bring it up court, in and out. Get the rebound. Jumping through the lane, can't get it to fall. Controlling the boards. 44-34, sorry about that. And Kaylee Wells gonna work inside. Traveling is the call. Yeah, she's had a tough time. Uh, tough time on the scoreboard tonight, I still don't. See Kaylee on the scoreboard. Oh, 
Lady Rustler struggle to bring it up court. Tough defense. Oh, and I'm going to say she traveled. Lady Chieftains basketball, 138 remaining in the third. 10 point lead for the Lady Rustlers. It was 10 points at the half. And as we uh, close in on the final minute and a half of this one, it's still at 10 points that lead by the Lady Rustlers. And uh, the ball's going to go out of bounds. Lady Rustlers bring it up court. 123 on the clock. As Lady Rustlers work it around. They enjoy their 10 point lead. They're taking their time. Working the baseline. Fern holes. We'll go to the line. She's their main player. That foul on Kaylee Wells, her third personal. Katie Fernholes, first one's up and good. Vonnegale Schlechter gonna check in. Checking the ball again. Second one is up and good. 46-34 is our score. As Lady Chieftains bring it up court with one minute now remaining in the third period. Looking to, looking to cut away at that 12-point lead by the Lady Rustlers. That's a team third foul. Three fouls to five. Kaylee Wells can't get it to fall. Battle for the ball. That'll be Lady Chieftains basketball. 49 seconds remaining in the third period. Kaylee works it around the rosy. Long three for Marvine for three. 37 46 is our score. And timeout by Coach Zeller. He saw his player in trouble and decided a timeout might be well worth it with 33 seconds remaining in the third period of play. And a nine point lead by the Lady Rustlers. Get a sense of uh, urgency starting to uh, well up here in uh, on the Chieftain side of the bench. Uh, it's uh, It's going to be awesome when it explodes. We're anticipating Lady Chieftains dialing it up here pretty quick. For the time being, it's Lady Rustlers basketball. Lady Chieftains gonna see if they can dial up a shot. Some tough D being put on by Francesca Ross. 29 seconds now remaining. And Lady Rustler is going to work it around, trying to use up that clock. It is only the 20 seconds remaining in the third period. A steal and a battle for the ball. This time it'll go Lady Rustler's direction. 15 seconds. And Lady Rustlers will inbound under their basket. And Lady Chieftain's all over it. it uh, I think it was, it looked like it was kicked out by their player from here, but hey, that referee down there is the one wearing the glasses, so. <laughs> 13 seconds though, somehow a couple seconds clicked off. Nobody watching her underneath the basket. 
and she scored an easy two. She was, she couldn't believe it herself. Marvine gonna come down. One second, it's up, and shy of the mark. We're gonna go into the fourth quarter, trailing by 11. And so, this one's gonna be some kind of uh, end to a, a game here. We're uh, certainly, certainly thinking about the urgency that they must be uh, talking about here, Coach uh, Fellas and the Lady Chieftains with a major challenge on their hands. Down by 11, eight minutes. Just one quarter remaining in this basketball game. And uh, folks, I'm still here to tell you that uh, the Lady Chieftains are certainly capable of uh, handling the Lady Wrestlers. I, I think uh, everything considered, our girls and their conditioning, our girls and their uh, three-point capability, just a few shots out of being uh, in real contention to take this one. So we welcome you uh, aboard. If you're just now joining us, we're beginning the fourth period of play. And, uh, you know, Lady Chieftain's trailing by 11. And uh, going to be turning it up a notch or two here. So you won't want to uh, leave this one for very long. These guys are uh, going to be battling here. They're going to show some some uh, chieftain might here. Starting their three-point. Uh, it, it appeared as though she fell down, but they're going to call Rosie for that foul, her fourth fourth personal team sixth foul so bonus situation for the lady wrestlers following uh, any uh, I mean moving forward and of course lady wrestlers gonna be looking to work that clock here in the fourth period and uh, it's certainly in their favor fancy is gonna be charged with reaching in and that'll put uh, the lady wrestlers on the line for the next seven minutes and 14 seconds. Sarah Hunter gonna give Rosie a, a rest. On the line, Vonnegale Schlechter. First one up and good. 49-37 is our score. 7-14 remaining in this contest. Second one is up and good. Yeah, Lady Chieftains bring it up. Marvin Ross. And she's fouled on her way to the basket. Nice pass underneath as she broke for the basket. Haley Londo on a feed to Marvin. She was fouled. She'll shoot a couple. First one up and good. 38 to 50, a 12 point lead for the Lady Wrestlers. Seven minutes. Make that 11 point lead for the Lady Wrestlers. And some tough D being put on. Lady Rustler is trying to work that clock as they move the ball around. Lady Chieftains playing some D. Short jumper inside. Kaylee Wells going to come away with the rebound. Marvin going to push it up court to Haley Londo. Spinning in the lane. She's going to put it up and good. <laughs> Haley for two. 41 to 50, a nine point lead. Lady Rustlers bring it up court. 
Short jumper, can't get it to fall. Battle for the rebound. And a foul and they're gonna say that one was on Kaylee, her fourth personal. And uh, yep, they're gonna call that on Kaylee, her fourth personal. And so uh, Fernholz is on the line, first one up, no good, rebound. Short baseline jumper is up and good. Sorry about that. No foul or anything called. Although a player went flying and everything else. <laughs> Man, it kinda, I, I don't know how she went flying and there wasn't a call. It just, uh, I guess that's, that's how it goes and then we better check some whistles here, folks. Uh, I'm thinking that we might have to just, uh, but uh, yep, short jumper works for uh, Lady Rustlers. 54-41, 5.30, and a half minutes remaining. Marvin with a pass to I'm gonna say she stepped out of bounds. Lady Chieftain's basketball. Marvin will inbound for the Lady Chieftains. 527 now remaining. And having trouble inbounding. Haley Londo spinning in the lane. She puts it up. No good. Rebound by Brooks. And Lady Rustlers put one up, no good. Marvin, <laughs> or I'm sorry, Fancy ripping it down, a pass to Sarah Hunter. And she steps out of bounds. Fernholz steps out of bounds. It'll be Lady Chieftain's basketball with 5.03 remaining in the contest. 5.03, 54-41. And Coach uh, Aaron Zeller for the Lady Rustlers wants to talk it over. Once again, just uh, five minutes, a little over five minutes remaining in this contest. 54-41 is our score. Lady Rustlers in front of the Lady Chieftains. And uh, this presenting the greatest challenge thus far this year for the uh, Lady Chieftains. And uh, certainly uh, looking to upset uh, their perfect season thus far. But uh, certainly a, a great test for them as well as, as they look at that last five minutes of basketball play. It's gonna be wicked. I know they're not gonna go down without a fight folks and so uh, with just five minutes remaining we are looking uh, looking forward to some excellent basketball play here as that sense of urgency continues to build Lady Chieftains take it out Sarah Hunter over to Marvin Marvin over to Haley. Haley gonna work it around. Try and take it up and misses that one. Here come the Lady Rustlers. And Lady Rustlers trying to work it underneath. Ball's gonna go out of bounds. It'll be Lady Rustlers, they're gonna say. Francesca Ross playing some tough D out there. Kaylee coming back in to give Haley a rest. 4.35 remaining. 4.35, Rosie's back in the game. Sarah's gonna come out. Here we go, 4.35. And uh, 
Some tough D being put on by Fancy. Lady wrestlers work it around. Working that baseline, shot is up and they're gonna call a foul. It appears to be a foul on uh, Marvin. No, that was on Rosie. I guess they're going to call that on Rosie, and that's going to be her fifth personal. So. No, it was on. <laughs> It was on Marvin, so. Time out. Lady Chieftains with 418 remaining. A little bit of a mix up on that foul, but uh, at the end of the day, it was Marvin with the charged with that foul, her fourth personal. Her and Rosie both playing with four fouls now. And uh, like I said earlier in the game, I, you know, them them early fouls really, really uh, start to look you in the face when you get down to that fourth period of play. And uh, yeah, here we are with 4:18 remaining. Lady Chieftains trailing, trailing by 13. And uh, some of the chieftains in the house. It appears as though the chieftains are going to come out and cheer on their lady chieftains, maybe. Uh, we'll see what happens there. But we're at 418 remaining in the game. And uh, lady wrestlers on the line. And uh, a couple of lady chieftains in foul trouble. And. So uh, we have the first one up, and it's good. Lady wrestlers shooting a pretty good percentage of their free throws. In and out, rebound. Laney, crazy ball. Dishes off to Marvin. Marvin's gonna take it to the hoop. She's fouled on her way. And Erin uh, Monker picking up her third personal. That's just the fifth, fifth team foul for the Lady Wrestlers. Marvin working it around. Kaylee with the ball. Kaylee with the long three. It's up and off the back of the rim. Nice rebound, but they're gonna say jump ball. It appeared to be every bit of over the back, but yeah, like I said, I'm I'm not courtside. I'm up here in the bleachers, so. And Fernholz, their top gun for the lady rustlers, brings it up court as the lady rustlers work it inside for two more. Fernholz. Long three, and it's good. We need more of those from Marvin. And, and it's going to go out of bounds. They're going to say. No, they're going to say uh, Francesca fouled her. Boy, it certainly appeared as though she threw it right out of bounds, but that'll put the lady wrestlers on the line once again with 324 remaining in the fourth period. And first one's up and good. Double bonus situation here for the lady wrestlers. 324 remaining in our contest. And a 14 point, correct that, a 15 point lead now for the Lady Rustlers with 3.21 remaining. The Lady Chieftain's gonna have to go to the launch program. And uh, offensive foul gonna be the call. And 
and that was kind of scary. I think if it <laughs> if it went the other way, you would have heard a an uproar. I'm sure. So it's six uh, fouls to ten. And uh, Marvin, shy of the mark. Haley with the rebound, pass inside to Kaylee. Kaylee trying to work, work inside, and all night she's been putting that same shot up and no whistle. And uh, now she'll go to the line. Thank you, Mr. Estes. And uh, yeah, so here we go uh, with three minutes remaining. Kaylee on the line, first one up, and good. <laughs> 14 point lead for the Lady Rustlers. Three minutes remaining in our contest. Second one up and good. 46-59 is our score. And Lady Chieftains come away with a steal and a pass underneath for two. Haley Londo putting a couple on the boards for the Lady Chieftains. And Coach. Zeller wants to talk it over before it gets out of hand. Started to see that momentum shift and he said, hey, I'm calling a timeout, man. It's 2.46 remaining. 59.48 is our score. 11 point lead and here come the Lady Chieftains, folks. You ain't gonna wanna go too far from your TV because they're turning it up a notch, folks. And uh, this place is going to come to life here with 2.46 remaining in our contest. And I think the lady rustlers understand that too. So, man, as soon as it started to go the direction of uh, the Chieftains, boy, that Coach Zeller said, I want a timeout. So, this is the test, the biggest test for the lady Chieftains this year. And uh, with 2.46 remaining, plenty of basketball time. I mean, if the Vikings can pull it off with 10 seconds, hey, you know, the Lady Chieftains are capable here. So <laughs> here we go. Ball in play. And uh, Lady Rustler is hoping someone will foul, but it ain't going to happen. Some tough D being put on. The lady wrestlers hoping to all kinds of players on the floor, but at the end of all of that, a foul on the Chieftains. That one called on Fancy, her uh, fourth personal. So several team, several players now in foul trouble with 2.26 remaining. And a rare miss by Fernholz. She's on the line, a little pressure. Second one up and good. Here come the 60 to 48 and a hard fall. Tripped up on her way to the basket. It'll be a bonus situation for Lady Chieftains. Schlechter with that foul, her second. Marvin on the line shooting a bonus with 2.20 remaining in the contest. It's up and good. 49 to 60 is our score. Second one is up. And good, automatic for Marvin Ross. And some tough D being put on by Lady Chieftains. And a steal, pass to, and two by Fancy. Eight point lead, 2.06 remaining. And Lady Rustler struggling to bring it up court. Lady Chieftains now with under two minutes remaining. Working the baseline. And a battle for the ball. It's a jump ball and it's gonna be 
Lady Chieftains basketball, 146 remaining. Lady Chieftains looking to hack away at an eight point lead. Marvin Ross brings it up court. Everybody wants to. And a foul away from the basket. They're gonna call that on Kaylee. And that's gonna be her, her fifth foul. So Kaylee, Kaylee's gonna foul out with 136 remaining. 60 to 52, 136 on the clock. Lady Rustlers bring it up court. Steal by Haley, a pass over to, kicking it out to Sarah Hunter, off the back of the rim. 118 on the clock. And Lady Rustlers bringing it up court. Closing in on one minute remaining. Schlechter is gonna go to the line. She'll shoot a couple and Sarah Hunter gonna be charged with that foul. Her third personal. Kenai Fernholz. Fernholz on the line. She'll shoot two with 105 remaining. And a friendly rim delivers a point on that first shot. 105 remaining. And Fernholz air balls the second one. <laughs> She'll hear it from Lady Chieftain fans. 105 remaining. And we're certainly looking for a three here. As the Lady Chieftains pass it around and we're under one minute remaining. Kick it over to the corner, it's up and good. 55-61. And we're gonna have a foul on the play, I believe that's on Francesca, on Fancy. Yep, that's gonna be on Fancy, and that's her fifth personal. Two Lady Chieftains now fouled out. And uh, the Twins are in the game now. Lady Rustler's first one up, and no good. 44 seconds on the clock, 61-55. Second one is up and it's good. 62-55 as the Lady Chieftains bring it up court. Working the baseline, can't get it to fall. Rebound Fernholz. Twenty-five seconds now remaining. And 18 seconds remaining. Lady Rustlers appear to appear to know how to work that clock. As Katie Fernholz is on the line, first one is up, and good. 63.55, just 10 seconds now remaining on the clock. Second one is up and good. And unless they launch that three from about midcourt, this one's appearing to be a little shy of the mark tonight. And Lady Chieftains experience their first defeat of the year. And uh, now it'll be the test to see uh, just, uh, you know, what they, what they do with this loss. 
chalk it up to some uh, some learning opportunity. But uh, certainly no reason to hang their head. They're still champions in our book, and we look forward to them learning a bunch from this game and moving forward in a victorious way as the season continues. I, uh, I only wish it uh, fell the other way. And uh, coming up, we have the boys, boys varsity game coming up. Once again, uh, we are anticipating some excellent basketball play here with the varsity boys basketball game gonna be kicking off here. Chieftains in the house. Miller Rustlers are in the house and we've got a few tall boys on this team this year too so we'll see if the chieftain quickness can overwhelm the rustler height oh we're gonna take a bit of a break here and come back with varsity boys basketball action chieftain style <laughs> <laughs> 